Hi there, Mark here again. We've got Rob on the camera. Hi everyone. And uh, today is a bit of a momentous day for me and my RC channel. It certainly is. Because, lo and behold, I have something that's not a Tamiya for the oh, first no. time, I know. Uh, wow, well, it is a Kyosho and it's the Scorpion rear wheel drive buggy. And as you see, it's an off road racer. Uh, Rob and I were just discussing the fact that uh, it, it's a nice box. It looks like yeah. a, a real. It looks like a really old kit, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And uh, this is a re re of a. I think it's nineteen eighty two. I think was the original um, Scorpion was released. But this is a, a re re, and it's been updated, and so it's not got the same flaws and same problems as the original. They've, they've kind of ironed all the uh, the problems out over the years. Cool. So this one. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, my first non Tamiya. Um, one of the reasons I've been kind of shying away from Kyosho in the past is because they're quite expensive, aren't they, Rob? They are. But, upon a quick inspection, as we'll see in a minute, when you look at the quality of the parts and what you actually get, you kind of, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it, Rob, of what yeah. they are uh, that bit more. I mean, this to me is very similar to the layout and chassis design. Um, in terms of suspension anyway and the look of it as the Tamiya Wild one which obviously I've got and I've got the new blockhead one so it should be good to compare those when it's finished shouldn't it mate? Yeah, uh, too right. Good to run them together and see yeah. how they go. I mean this has got some uh, metal frame rails involved and it's got metal um, swing arms for the suspension but apart from that like I say the, the technology is pretty similar isn't it? So yeah. let's get my first Kyosho unboxed. Right, here we go, Rob. And there she is. Wow. Wow, well, look indeed, at mate. that. And another first for me. I've never, Rob, in all my years of RC, got 30 odd years plus, I've never had one with blister packs before. Oh, no. I uh, know. You've had the Sand Scorch, haven't you, that's got blister packs? Yeah, and the Bruiser. Oh, yeah, right. Showing off now, Rob. Sorry. <laughs> that was many yeah, years but no, ago. I mean, so it makes me even more excited about this. It's wonderful, isn't it? The way, yeah. the way it looks, the way it's laid out. And it looks like some of it is uh, pre-prepared for us, Rob. Aye. So if you just look over here on the left. You've got your wheels. They obviously you've got the tyres pre-mounted. Uh, guys, I know it's an unboxing, but I'm not actually going to get these out of the blister packs. No, I don't. I'm just going to so. admire it like it is for a bit, <laughs> for a while longer. But uh, those are lovely uh, kind of dish wheels, aren't they? Yeah. And they do look like they're made of aluminium. If it's, it looks it to me. If it's plastic, it's a really good copy. Yeah. So for the front and back, and you've got those nice kind of grippy block tyres there, and the rib tyres for the front. And it looks like you've got pre-assembled, I think that's a gearbox, and there's a, a drive mm. gear in there. As you can see, that's an aluminium housing. Yeah. And I think there's a slipper clutch in there, Rob. Right which is nice and handy so yeah uh, but one thing you don't get guys is you don't get a motor with this kit so uh, yeah I'll have to be sourced I don't know what to go for yet but I will be getting a motor obviously yeah. of some kind <laughs> else it won't go so yeah that's that blister pack this is the next one again these are forged aluminium parts it does tell you the, uh, the type of aluminium that it's made of but I think it's kind of really good quality um, aluminium forging there and it's not cast which uh, obviously makes it even stronger wow yeah and you've got your uh, so it, it tells you what they're called here so you've got the, the front lower arms you've got your knuckles rear suspension arms and then you've got your pre-built differential cool. I don't know if that's a ball diff Rob I'm not sure but yeah that's the diff and again it's got the metal gear around there the yeah. me metal output drives you've got your metal dog bone drive shafts and these beautiful aluminium bodied uh, shock absorbers so yeah very nice those are yeah lovely okay in the middle you've got just a little bit of a body there yeah. so we need to be painting the, the driver built-in driver figure Gina's, on the body which is going to be a bit of a bit awkward painting that i think yeah. but anyway um so yeah that's nice thick polycarbonate i've got to say and then this bit here which looks like it might be a chassis but it's not apparently it's just a tray for holding your battery and your electronics because the frame itself is uh, aluminium as we'll see in a second yeah right then the main goodies are in this white box rod okay wibbly wobbly was it 
There's no good one this one, Rob. Oh no, sorry, Pete. <laughs> right then, so here's your big box of goodies. Mm, lots of metal. Ooh, look at that, so right then, guys. Okay, so there it is all laid out. We've got a few uh, of the plastic bags out of the way, haven't we, Rob? We are, yes. Yeah. Not all of them, but just so we can see a little bit better what you get. So, um, starting with the plastic parts over here, you've got your front bumper, you've got a solid rear wing, which uh, is in body colour, isn't it? Yeah. So I think it looks like I'm going to have to paint this one yellow. <laughs> just slightly, sir. Yeah, and we've got, it uh, looks like uh, some steering parts there, isn't it? That's for the servo, I think, which we need to get. Some ball ends and some links there. And we've got these plastic parts. Again, that's for like the roll cage, I think. Yeah. And we've got your plastic ball ends. We've got a driver's helmet, which is nice. Good to have a driver in a buggy in it, mate. It is. We've got this here, which I think, I don't know. Part of the roll cage, I think. I think more of the well. roll cage as well, yeah. Some other bits and pieces in there. And then you've got that, which is your battery holder, isn't it? Yeah. Or your battery cover. That will clip. I think that clips on the bottom there, doesn't it? Okay, so it doesn't look like there's that much, but there's a lot of metal parts, are there? There are. So, starting off, these are your chassis rails. Oh my gosh. It's solid, solid aluminium, Rob. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, guys, these do not flex. They are solid. Quite amazing. Really good quality aluminium, I've got to say. So that's those. And they're kind of uh, bolted together with cross members, aren't they? Yeah. Which we'll see in these parts here. So if we start with bag A, keep Rob happy. Uh, this is what was in bag A with, with those rails. So we've got some nuts and bolts and shims there. Um, just to say, all of the nuts and bolts, well, I should say all of the bolts are Allen head, aren't they? So that's yeah. really nice. So there's cool. lots of those in there. More of those machined aluminium parts. So that's part of one yeah. of the brackets that goes between the frame rails. I think those are for the front shock mounts or the front shock stays. You've got your box wrench and you've got a tube there. I think it's threaded in the ends. And this is a nice touch, isn't it, Rob? Oh, yeah. You get a lovely Kyosho spanner there. So that's cool. cool. And that's yeah. a spring. I imagine that's for the slipper clutch. Not sure. And you do get the Allen Ooh. keys with it. Yeah, I think that's part of the servo saver. Yeah, it? right, dude. Cool. So, yeah, that's parts bag A. Parts bag B. We've got some nice stuff in here. We've got the uh, steel pinion. Can you see that, dude? Yeah. You've got your big bearings in there and uh, some more cast metal components. Aluminium, uh, another, I think that's for the rear shock mounts, do we think, Rob? I think so, yeah. Might be. And that's another one of your cross members for going across the chassis rails. You've got, that looks like that might be a front, something to do with the front bumper. It's a yeah. solid piece of steel, that is. Uh, another bracket, well, beautifully machined. They are. A really lightweight aluminium. You've got your felt grease. Okay. Well, you imagine that's going to be for the slipper clutch being felt grease, that's yeah. a guess. And more of those lovely uh, Allen head screws or bolts. Sorry. Bag C, we've got an aluminium rollover bar, which you think gives the main strength to those plastic ones, I think. Yeah. You've got some lightweight 300 weight shock oil. You've got more, you've got some ball ends in there, uh, more ball bearings and components in there. Bag D, there's not so much in this one. You've got some thread locks, so they, they do think of everything, don't they? they? Give you everything. Yeah. We've got this steel bar, don't know what that's for. No. And again, you've got more. These are aluminium cast components. And you've got some, well, they look like tie rods. And then a rubber boot there. More hex bolts and nuts. And some, looks like some double sided tape, I cool. think. Well, it might be. Bag is the roof, which is nicely made in aluminium again. And we've got more ball bearings and nuts and bolts and uh, a spring there. Looks like a spring. And amazingly, you get a spare parts. So look at that, Rob. You get a spare pinion. Wow. Looks like a gasket in there. You've got some uh, spare O-rings, uh, spare screws. And I think that's another spare part of the diff, is it, that one? Maybe. Yep, so that's really nice to get those extras, isn't it? Because, you know, yeah. worth a few quid, that. 
So we're nearly there now. We are. Quick look at the sticker pack. There's a lot more than I thought there'd be. But I think there's a lot of spare ones that you, you can just pick and choose what you want to put on, I think, Rob. Well, done this. Yeah. Really nice, though, because they're all uh, pre-cut. And there is no lip overhanging the cut out on cool. this. So that's so much better than the last yeah. sticker job I've done. And then we've got the build guide or the manual. Uh, it's a nice thick manual, isn't it? Yeah. So it looks nicely laid out. It's not the same as a Tamiya, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can follow this. Yeah. Okay. Self-explanatory. It, it, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's all mainly pictures, isn't it? Which is, yeah, what you need. So yeah, it looks all, like I say, very clearly done. And there's a list of all your spare parts, which hopefully I won't be needing because it will stay in one piece. Because um, it's a fantastic quality bit of kit, this. So, yeah, um, I've just got one thing to say before I go. What's that, dude? I'm going to thank somebody. Who's that then, mate? Hang on a bit. I'm absolutely made up with this kit, Rob, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it's going to go in. We've got a few to build at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm just wanted to, definitely going to look forward to this. I'm going to be looking at this and the parts every now and again. But I've got to give a massive thank you to the person that sent this to me as a gift, would you believe? And that guy is known as Barry Sheen. Now, he's not the original <laughs> Barry Sheen uh, 500 GP motorbike racer, uh, but he goes under that name and he runs a channel which is Baz's RC Dump or Barry's RC Dump. Um, if you've not visited him, go and have a look. He's got some fantastic builds and some great kits. He's into all sorts of RC. And some of the uh, models he's done, he's done the bodies in the livery um, in tribute to Barry Sheen and the same liveries that he used on his motorcycle races back in the right. 70s. So he's done some fantastic, uh, lucky number seven, Barry Sheen, yeah. and the colour schemes he used to have with those Suzuki motorbikes. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful job he's done with those. So Barry, can't thank you enough, mate. Um, cheers to you, look after yourself, and I'll bring this video to an end now. Um, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this and follow me on the build and hopefully seeing it running soon. All the best. Bye. Bye.